Hello, I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News update. A shootout in Northeast Baltimore sent two officers to the hospital with gunshot wounds on Wednesday. A joint task force of police from state, local and federal agencies were out serving a warrant at the Garden Village Apartments when they say the suspect opened fire. The suspect was killed in the exchange and had recently worked in law enforcement. One of the officers is recovering from a gunshot wound and shock trauma. The second officer was treated and released for a wound to the leg. University of Maryland's physician in chief, Dr. Thomas Scalia, says an officer's life was saved because a fellow officer applied a tourniquet. Tourniquets save lives. There is a course we are happy to teach you and I will not rest until every citizen of Baltimore has, and Maryland has taken this course. It's called Stop the Bleed because next time maybe it's your family member and you too will be able to help save their life. Officials say it only takes about three minutes to bleed to death and the tourniquet brought first responders some time to get those officers to shock trauma. WMAR 2 News Mallory Safasta spoke with Dr. Scalia about the tourniquet course back in 2017. And for more information, you can head to WMAR2news.com. Well, filling 100 potholes a day, it may seem like a lot, but that's what the mayor of Baltimore is hoping to do. The effort is part of Mayor Jack Young's Clean It Up campaign. He's hoping to fill 5,000 potholes service requests in 50 days to make the city more travel friendly and safe. The pothole challenge started on Wednesday. The big challenge is, you know, potholes pop up almost everywhere. You know, you can fill a pothole a day and cause roll, roll over it is back again. So we need citizens to make sure that when they see it, they call as well. Well, everybody who lives in the city, visitors, employees are all asked to report potholes to 311. You can also file an online service request for pothole repair. And I'm tracking another slippery start to your work day here. Temperatures near 40 for the morning, but we get milder as we head into the afternoon here. Expecting those showers to exit the area and then those winds kick up. Temperatures falling to the lower 40s through the evening. I'm expecting those daytime highs to warming to the upper 50s for most of us. Don't be surprised if you see a couple of locations get to 60 degrees. But that is going to be the warmest day as we head into the weekend as those numbers will be falling. 35 degrees and breezy for your Friday. That means wind chills are going to be in the 20s. 34 with mostly sunny skies for your Saturday into the upper 40s by Sunday, returning to the 50s next week. But I'm also tracking a chance of showers as we head into your Tuesday. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.